Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. Today we're going to continue our journey of building our custom dashboard for AI automation. And one of the things that we're looking at is this book to call button. So previously we've been using Calendly and Google just released for Google Calendar the Google uh, the appointment scheduler. And so we used to connect this to Calendly and instead, we're, today we're going to use Next.js and actually embed the uh, Google Calendar appointment scheduler into our application. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open our calendar in Gmail. And I already created a introduction meeting that is an appointment scheduler. But if you go up to the Create button, you'll see this appointment schedule. And so if we click on that, it'll automatically uh, create a schedule. So you can go through and configure this. It's very similar to Calendly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the one I've already created. Uh, you can edit this to add specific functionality so you can put in your schedule, as well as putting in like labels, the duration, same thing that you would do with Calendly. Uh, you can also add specific form fields right out of the gate, and you can have as many uh, schedule appointments as you want. So this is great for um, doing different types of event types, which is a, an extra fee in Calendly. So if we want to embed this in our Next.js app, we can go ahead and click the Share button. So what this is gonna do is just give us a link. So the simplest thing would be to copy this, go over to our Next.js application and just use a, uh, a process, an environment variable to go ahead and put calendar, the, cal the Google Calendar in there. And that will go ahead and change the, the button as in its simplest form. However, we're gonna go a little bit further because you can also embed this in the web page. So if we look at this, they have a pop-up button and this pop-up button for the code, it's uh, mostly a link in a script. And so this is the demo of what it would look like, which is kind of nice instead of having to either move off of your, your page or open up in a new tab. The problem with this though, is that if you try and embed this into Next.js with the current functionality of how it is, it gets a little weird. Um, you'd have to do some dangerous things like actually loading this in and violating the dangerous inner HTML uh, error and like which would cause an error in React. But if you look at the code itself, you'll notice that what it's doing here is it's just creating an iframe. So the element that it's actually putting on the page is, is creating a modal and then that modal has an iframe in it. So what we're gonna do instead is we can actually look at this inline booking, we'll copy this iframe and then we'll use the default, like the native HTML dialog tag to actually put this into our page. So let's go ahead and get that started. We'll go ahead and copy this code and then we'll look at our HTML. All right, so now that we're in our HTML, I wanna point out a couple of things. You'll notice that in this dashboard, we're looking for members and that's specifically because we're using member stack to define uh, particular states of if people are logged in or not. We're gonna have another video specifically on integrating member stack into Next.js using their um, different libraries, which are specifically for React, the DOM and then the admin. But for today, we're gonna kind of ignore this and we'll just look at the code for actually building a button and using the, the dialog tag. So I put together an example. If we scroll down to our the bottom of our page, we'll notice that we have two booking calls. We have the old uh, Calendly booking call and we have this new one that we want to put and make a dialogue for. And so to do that, to do that, what we'll do is we'll look at these, these tags that we put in 
and then the properties that uh, go along with them. So the first thing is we don't actually need to include anything other than we need uh, specific uh, imports from React. So we need to use a use ref. So we're going to reference the actual element, which is our dialog. We are going to use the, uh, the effect, and then we're actually going to tell it to show or close the modal. And so this show modal and close modal are actually part of the, um, the HTML DOM as like a native tag. So if we look at what we're gonna do, we've copied our iframe. And so if we paste this in right now, it's just gonna give us these comments that we need to get rid of and uh, so we'll go ahead and delete those, and then we will uh, reformat. And so one of the things that we're noticing is we're getting an error. So what we want to do is just go ahead and get rid of this border. And we should now get our, um, our iframe rendering correctly. You'll also notice some other changes. You'll also notice some other changes that uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our height to 100%. And uh, we, so we can just get rid of the second one, but we wanna get rid of our style and we wanna make the height 100%. In our dialog tag specifically, we need to reference this. And then what we need to do is create a click. So on this click, we're looking at the reference to check if the dimensions are higher than uh, the, the client X and Y, higher or lower. And so based on that, we're going to close. And this is what this is doing is it's actually making the dialog uh, like shadow behind it so that you can click outside of it. The other piece that we're going to do is we're going to make our button look exactly the same. So we're including these class names. We have our on click, which is going to basically check if it's showing or not and do this dialogue. Then we have, you know, some more styling. So our font and uh, our reference. So now what we can do is if we click this button, it will launch our our, uh, our dialog in as a default with the iframe embedded in the dialog. And so, all right, so now if we click our booking link, we'll, uh, our book to call link, we should see our Google Calendar. And so there we go. So now we have this nice modal that is using default HTML uh, tags with the Google Calendar embedded so it looks nice and clean. We can also click in the shading outside of it and it should close. And so there we go. So thanks for tuning in to Nerding IO as we continue our journey through building custom uh, AI dashboards. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and we'll see you in the next one.